Ronnie here again. Hope you enjoyed our last video uh, series that we did on uh, planting our shrubs and amending that flower bed. Got, uh, like I mentioned in that video, we got a hurricane that's moving in. It's going to bring a lot of rain. I've been trying to get some, uh, some sort of uh, grass or something established in our yard. Uh, put out some brown top millet, which is what a lot of the construction crews use during the summertime when they're uh, planting, uh, when they're digging along the roadside or whatever. It's something that comes up extremely quick and uh, it, it won't last through the winter and it'll die out, but it's just something that'll come up quick, kind of hold the uh, dirt in place. So I got a few patches of it that establish. Um, what we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna oversee this with some annual ryegrass and some clover. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do is just get something into the soil. This is a heavy clay, heavy clay, small particles that binds together water don't <clears throat> flow through it good i'm just trying to get something that'll sprout and have some roots that are going there and it'll die and it'll provide some sort of a organic matter in the soil um, that'll help for when i try to re to establish uh regular grass I'm, i may try to put some out um typically you put it out in my area in september but i may wait until next year uh, to try to put that out to the following september and keep messing with uh, this this type of stuff on here, but the clover is also beneficial because clover will will uh, pull nitrogen out of the air and affix it in the soil. Um, <clears throat> so that that's a benefit. So we're gonna plant it. You can kind of see this is the front yard here, and we're gonna plant in the backyard. And we're trying to get this in before the uh, the, the all the rain comes. When I put this out about a month ago, the brown top millet, <clears throat> we were getting a little bit of rain and all of a sudden it dried up and we didn't get anything. So I stopped by Track Supply and I bought some clover that was meant for, uh, for deer hunters to put out for food plots, but it was on clearance because this is really not supposed to plant clover in the springtime. And then this is actually the time to buy ryegrass, but as you can see here, this ryegrass has a big hole in the back, so they had it for for 50% off, it's, it's had some leak at, leaked out. So uh, instead of it being like $40 a bag, it was like $29 a bag. I think it was normally 44. So I consider that a deal. I always look for things like that. Um, packages are ripped a little bit. Sometimes you can get them pretty deep discount on it and, uh, and clearance stuff, uh, especially since this is the ryegrass, this, this is annual ryegrass, so it will die also. <clears throat> it'll actually last through the winter. The ryegrass will be green through the winter. And it'll actually die in the springtime. So, again, that'll be something else that'll die and it'll benefit our soil here. So, that's what we're trying to do. So, stay tuned. You gonna help me put out some grass seed? Come on. Come on. Put some grass seed out, buddy. Come on. Come on. Got that finished up. Spread that around the yard. I have a good feeling a lot of it will come up where this other stuff is already coming up. Mixed in with the straw and the, the other uh, millet that I put out. I want to show you a quick update on the rototiller, and then we'll end this video. And to my buddy Bill, Bill, you see I'm red again. There's no sun out here. There's no sun when I started. That's just what happens to us Irish folks, guys. We just we just get red face when we work, buddy. Just what happens. But uh, I will take precaution on that suntan lotion. I do normally wear that just for for future reference. So. Let's show you the rototiller. So I was able to get that valve out and take the breather off. And uh, I don't think you can see.